Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Starting today in Central Perk, Manchester. We've got Katie here. <laughs> We've just popped into the Primark in Manchester and we've just gone and got a coffee from Central Park. How cool is it? We're on the Friends sofa at the minute. I love it, it's so cute. I'm gonna have to nip back in there to show it on camera. Yeah. It's so cute. I didn't even realize that they had one of these in here. And it actually looks, I think, a bit like the actual it's central perk inside. The menus and everything. Yeah. We'll go have a look. I'll go show you inside in a minute. But we're on the sofa. Very nice lady just took our picture for us. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so this is what it looks like from the outside. And they've kind of done it. So it looks actually like the central perk from Friends. And they've got the iconic lamp posts outside and then even the menu and the brick wall on the back it's so nice and we've got so many nice looking goodies I just got an Americano oh here she is she's found something <laughs> <laughs> that's nice actually yeah I like that that's definitely a you vibe look at the size of their denim section oh my god and it, it's even bigger it goes like all the way around here yeah it's so tidy as well wow into your Disney stuff I know a lot of people love Disney stuff from Primark there's a huge section in here of different bits and bobs. We've got lots of Snoopy bits. I think there's some Lilo and Stitch stuff at this side. Oh, and they've also got some Lion King bits in. I actually really like that sweater, that's nice. So, this is the Primark Beauty Studio. What have you just spotted? They do facials. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, they do lash extensions. What? They do lash extensions, gel, blow dry, nails, threading, waxing, tinting. Wow. Oh yeah, so there are the facials. You can have an express for 25 or a refreshed for 35. I just noticed that they do brow lamination. They've got LPI varnish up there. That's nice. I like this cardigan as well. I don't know what like material this is. It's one that says made using recycled plastic. But I was actually in our Primark in Meadowhall last night and I saw that this jumper on the hanger just as I was leaving. And I thought it looked so nice. It was giving me kind of like free people vibes with like the crochet and the little bubbles on. It's really nice and soft. Um, so yeah, it's really cute. I really like these. So these are £15. And I've got them in loads of colours as well, actually. Yeah, I really like this one. Oh, I've also just spied a couple of jumpers over there. They look nice too. So this is the other jumper I was just looking at, which is really nice. It's black with kind of off-white creamy stripes on it. And I think this is supposed to be a little Bodie cell here. These ones are £13. I really like the look of that one as well. We were just saying that it looks like Terminal 2 in Manchester Airport. How nice is this? Just casually in Primark. <laughs> Might go and have a little look at the shoes because I only brought heels with me for the weekend and I might need a little pair of shoes. I just found the most gorgeous neutral stationery collection. So this pack here is just three pounds and it's got notebook, pen, pencil, ruler, rubber. Oh, that's so nice and then they've got the matching pen pot. And then they've also got this weekly planner which is in this kind of like faux leather holder. It's got days of the week on, what your plans are. Love that. 
I'm going to try and find this in Oz at home in Meadow Hall because I can't be bothered to take it on the train but love that set. I've also got a little desk tidy, it's £4. And also down there, ring binder, magazine holder thing for £2.50. They're so nice. I've just heard Katie shout me, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh I love that. That's so cute. Like a little macrame hanging. And then we've got some hanging plants. Oh, I love all of this sort of stuff. Oh, that's really nice, I like that. It's so cute. I don't know, I feel like their home section is so good. Look at that long panel wood mirror over there. Oh, that looks nice. All this. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is really nice I like that oh, a blanket you have to buy a blanket <laughs> oh look at all the plants that they've got in here as well oh I love this what's this little thing oh. <laughs> I don't even know what it is that is so cute though £2.50 oh Love it, oh and they've got a little plain one there as well. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could spend, well I could basically buy everything in here. Look at the vases. They're so nice. <gasps> That's such a nice picnic blanket. I never knew I needed one of those. But now I do. What, look they've even got little rugs. Is that a rug or like a picnic yeah. rug? What? Design rug, £16? That's oh really my nice. gosh, I've never seen something like this in Primark before. Oh, I love all these like little door hanging wreath type things. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, this is potentially my most favourite thing that I've ever found in Primark, ever. It's just like a hanging wreath thing, but it's got like pampas grass coming off it. That's so cute. That's just £8. I just think that's such good value. Oh, I love this. I am absolutely in love with this Primark. We've got some of the nicest things in the homeware section and it's absolutely massive. <gasps> oh. <laughs> We're finding so much stuff that we love. How are we going to get this on the train? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how many baskets there are. This is like TK Maxx or Home Sense or something. I can't believe how much stuff there is in here. And there's a whole kitchen section down there as well. I love that they've done all these like displays in here as well. I don't know if this is a flagship store but it feels like it is because I feel like they've gone to so much effort in here with everything. Like all these little displays that they've done. This is one of my favourite bits, the wellness section. Oh, I love all of this stuff. Ooh, I like these soap dishes. Trays. Oh, we've got lots of bath bits and bobs over here. See some things like these. I think these just look so much more expensive than what they are. They've got a full set of things. They've got a toilet brush, they've got a storage jar, soap dispenser, trays, soap dishes, mirrors. Yeah, I've got so much lovely bits and bobs oh and that's a nice bathroom accessories pack that's just 15 pounds got some flannel towels love it oh wow they've even got fabric softener laundry liquid i've not seen them do that before I just basically want to buy everything <laughs> Case is trying to decide if, what did you say, walk away? 
Oh my god. I oh know, I've just seen this like rattan wood chair and a matching little side table. How cute is that? I don't even know if that's for sale, there's not a price on it. <laughs> we've just had like such a great time already and we've only been in Primark. <laughs> <laughs> I went to go to Arndale Centre. Yeah, we've not even made it to the Arndale, we've just come to Primark. <laughs> Oh, more big rugs. That's really nice. Just seen this long panel wood mirror as well. How nice is that? It's got like a kind of sandy, beachy, washed kind of effect to the wood. <laughs> if you are into all your Disney stuff, it is literally like the Disney store in here. Now that they've shut, you might want to come in here. They've got loads of nice Disney stuff. Loads and loads of homeware. We've got Lilo and Stitch. We've got some Bambi things on the other side. We've got all Mickey and Minnie Mouse things. So we've just finished up with shopping and heading back to the hotel. Katie's got the bags. And we're staying on Canal Street at the Velvet Hotel. Very nice. It's like really filled up out here now. So now we're back. We're just gonna go in, get in our room now, and get ready, to get refreshed for tonight. The cabinet from the Room of Requirement in Harry Potter. Yes. You know which one I mean. Ooh. Yeah. Go on then. We're in room 24. And she said it's a nice new refurbed. Oh wow, I don't know what this is already, but that looks <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh, they've brought our bags up for us. Oh my gosh, this is so, so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, I love it. Oh my gosh, how nice is this? Oh, wow. This is one of the most amazing oh hotel rooms we've ever stayed in for sure. Look at that print on the wall. Oh, wow. I don't want to like mess anything up. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh, we've got some robes. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> Stop it! Oh my god, that is amazing! <gasps> wow! How nice is that? <gasps> and there's a shower back here as well. Oh my god, that is so nice! Oh, <gasps> love, love, love it! Wow, what an amazing room. Okay, I'm gonna do a very quick room tour. So we've got, oh, so are these all the lights? Yeah, you can do bathroom. Oh, room for night, room off, bath night, bath mood. What's bath mood? Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So I've just pressed the bath mood and it's like mood lighting in the bathroom so it just turned the lights down a little bit i've got this amazing huge bath and nice towel rack fluffy white towels i've got a huge rainfall shower in here and i always love a floor to ceiling tile and it's a huge freestanding bath oh this is amazing Nice big mirror for when we're getting ready. We've got some nice art on the wall here as you come in. So there's the front door. And then this is kind of the view as you first walk in. So we've got a nice big full length mirror there. Wow, look at the size of that TV as well. I can see that. <laughs> I didn't even like notice how big the TV was. We've got a huge chair, desk area. Oh, I think that's a little um, radio. Oh, 
alarm clock and then over here we've got these amazing amazing huge windows wow and I wonder if at night these little fairy lights are going to light up oh, so nice and then round here, oh, I, don't, I just don't even know where to begin. So up here, there's this huge chandelier. And then over there, we've got this big print. We've got a brick back wall. And then a massive headboard installation type thing there. We've got even more mirrors here. And then we've got these really pretty hanging side lamps bedside lamps we've got oh some more light buttons down there I think oh these cushions are amazing they're so vibrant oh. I mean even the carpeted floor is so cool and then we've got a thing for our suitcases oh we've got some robes as well oh, they're so nice and soft We've got velvet hotel robes, nice glasses, I think that's a wine chiller, coffee machine, mini fridge, let's have a look in the mini fridge, oh nice and fully stocked on oh, little tiny milk, that's so cute, got a safe down there, let's see what's in here, oh my gosh look at the little cups, We've got some biscuits, cups. We'll have a look in this one. We've got iron, hair dryer, all those bits and bobs. Wow, this is amazing. Do you like it? It's, oh my god. It's stunning, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's so so nice. I can't I'm honestly like this is one of the nicest hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. It's amazing. I'll do a very quick outfit of the day before I get changed. So I've got MAC trench coat from H&M. Leather trousers are also H&M. I've got roll neck jumper. This one's from Primark. And then heels. I can't remember where these are from actually. I've had these forever. That's little quick outfit of the day oh I'm gonna chill out now in here amazing so we've just got into the hotel room and this what's over here some random person just came in the hotel room <laughs> I thought it was the lady from reception uh I literally don't know. I think they must have thought that this was their room. <laughs> How did they get in? I think they must have left the door unlocked. Oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> That's a bit leave? I can't believe that just happened. Somebody just walked in. <laughs> did you see the face? Yeah, no. she was like, this isn't our room. <laughs> and then walked out again. That was funny. So yeah, we've just got into the hotel room. I'm like sat on like the comfiest chair ever. So we're just gonna get changed, refreshed, and then we have got dinner tonight. But this hotel is called the Velvet Hotel and Bar, and it's right on Canal Street. It's such a good location. It's really close to everything. And this room, what room number are we? 24? 24. This is room 24. I don't know about the other rooms, but the lady at reception said this one has been recently refurbished and oh my gosh you can so tell it's just absolutely oh it's just so stunning it's just beautiful like a lot of little nice touches as well so I think we're gonna love staying in here we're gonna have baths later on now I think we'll get some cheap Prosecco or something from a spa after the show we can watch ghost adventures <laughs> Have Prosecco, have a bath. But that Patsy and Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get changed and then we've got dinner at Tattoo. What time is that? 
Uh, I think about 10 past 4. About 10 past 4. Katie's like the master planner yeah. of everything. Itinerary queen. Itinerary queen, planning queen. I just kind of turn up <laughs> and be grateful <laughs> for everything that you've planned. <laughs> so yeah, we've got dinner there. Never been there before, but it obviously looks amazing. And then we're going to see Dita. Oh my God, just when you think, this hotel can't get any better. They've just brought us up a welcome drink. Oh my gosh, how nice is that? That's just so lovely, bless them. Oh, oh, love it. All ready to go. Yay. Got a little champagne. It's Katie. Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get an Uber and go and get some food. Cheers. Just arrived for dinner. So this is the menu if you wanted to pause and have a look. But we are going for the duck spring rolls, the lobster and prawn toast, the sticky beef short rib, the black cod croquettes and some broccoli and we're gonna see how we go with all that and kind of share it and then get dessert but the menu everything sounds amazing and that's the large plates and then rice noodles and veg down here so I have got a tiger lily which is gin blueberry and coconut and it looks like it's got some whipped cream on top too and Kate has gone for what did you get tattoo twinkle tattoo twinkle I don't know what's the name prosecco mango uh, and passion fruit oh very nice hey cheers happy 30th oh, thank you. <laughs> Toffee pudding with butterscotch sauce, and Katie has got the dragon's egg. We just finished up with dinner. We're just gonna go and try and get a table at 20 stories now. Which I think is like, I don't know how you get in. Yeah, I've not got my glasses on, so I literally can't see anything. <laughs> We've just got back from the O2 watching Dita and it was amazing. I'm just back at the hotel now. I'm just gonna finish a glass of champagne and just relax now really for the rest of the night. The show was amazing. Obviously didn't film anything in there because um, you can't because of the acts, but it was the first burlesque show that I've ever seen and it was just amazing. I've never seen acts like the acts that I've seen tonight. It was just so good. You enjoy it, Katie? Yeah, I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Had some tears, tears of happiness. <laughs> 
but yeah it was just so good like I felt actually that it was just like really empowering like as a woman to watch that I just felt like yeah it was just very empowering and yeah it was just very body positive and a lot of even the guys as well yeah the guys too yeah there was all shapes and sizes different backgrounds a bit of everything and do you know what as well we said that the crowd that was there tonight really diverse so diverse and yeah it was just so nice to see so many different people in a room together enjoying the all same happy. thing yeah all happy just having a good time so yeah it was so so good i loved it really different to anything that i've seen before and um, it was just like a really good atmosphere wasn't it yeah yeah it was really really good i absolutely loved it fairly sweet <laughs> yeah from all the screaming can't call in, can't call in. <laughs> yeah. oh and we got to meet one of the performers afterwards oh, that was really good yeah that was lana lana fox that we met afterwards oh and katie got a program and also a t-shirt lana kai fox lana kai fox I think that's how you say it. Yeah, she was brill. We loved her, didn't we? We loved Stunning. Dieter as well. Actually, we just loved everybody. Yeah. <laughs> everybody was amazing. It was just so, so good. So, yeah, we've actually just WhatsApped reception. Oh, they've not got... <laughs> oh, have they not? Oh. No. oh. We were going to have a bath, but there's no bubble bath. So we just WhatsApped reception to see if they have any. And he's just gone to check, but they don't have any. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I think we're gonna, well, I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna get a cup of tea. Probably put some ghost adventures on. Might have a little look on Just Eat or something. See ghost adventures. Yeah. It's June. And then just chill. Enjoy the hotel room, enjoy the rest of the evening and have a good sleep. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
relax and have a slow morning in here if we want to. I'm gonna have my old grey and I'm gonna have a flick through a couple of the books that were left in the hotel room for us. Um, so I know obviously you can have a look on Instagram, that's how I usually find a lot of places I want to visit or TikTok or Google but I also always have like to have a look at the books that are left in hotel rooms. I always think that the kind of attractions or restaurants that are put in here are you know they're really thought about because they're publicised in a book so yeah I always just like to have a flick through anything that has been left in the room so I'm gonna do that because we need to find somewhere for a bit of brunch this morning and um, I've not actually researched anywhere and I haven't really got anywhere in mind specifically to go so I'm gonna have a browse for somewhere for brunch um, and yeah just enjoy the morning it's just so so nice in here love it have my cup of Earl Grey have a flick through the books and yeah, just enjoy a nice slow morning. I hope you can hear me because it's super loud in here, but we've come to Ice Grove in the Guild for some brunch. We're just going to order that and eat up. Hi everyone, so it's a bit later in the day now. I think the last time I picked my camera up we were in the Northern Quarter area. We were just browsing in a few shops and things. And since then we got the train back to Sheffield and Grant picked us up. <laughs> um, we've just dropped Casey off and now we're at McDonald's. We're just waiting for our order. So I just thought I'd quickly wrap up this video here. If you miss me. <laughs> yeah, I missed you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and coming to Manchester with us. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you again next time. Bye!